All right, good morning. Welcome to the Power Chat series. Today we have the post show for the Best of the Best Sparring Championship. I'm Shay Rowe. Shay, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Good. Okay, so representing Team ATL, um, this was a tournament that was sparring. I mean, it's in the name, yeah. and it's hard to come by some of those events, especially with five gazillion divisions for forms and weapons and all the specialty stuff. So tell me a little bit more about, first of all, how you did and what the competition was like. Um, the competition was great. I mean, there were still a billion divisions, um, but I thought that was really exciting. I took a team of about 20 of my students um, on our competition team. And I mean, they did fantastic. They had um, regular, their fighting division, and then mm -hmm. they had um, tag team fighting. They had mixed doubles. They had a three person team. They had a two girl team. So there were tons of different team divisions for the kids to do. So most of my kids got to fight, you know, at least three or four times. Plus it was double elimination for the regular division. So there was a great competition and a great turnout. And it was really fun to see them, you know, get to do all these new fun divisions. So it was awesome. Yeah. That's great. I mean, sometimes, especially as you know, being a fighter yourself, sometimes you only get one round at an event. Um, like to have these, what was sort of the energy from some of your students? I mean, they were having a blast. This was our first team event as like our new season competition team. Um, and I mean, just the environment of them being able to run ring to ring and support each other. And, you know, the the Southeast kind of community is pretty close. So a bunch of the teams there we see at all the tournaments and they all have friends with each other. Um, so the camaraderie is great and the, the energy was very high all around. Great. And then you won overall women's as well. Um, just tell me a little bit more about some of the preparation, uh, what your training kind of looks like. Just to just be ready for anything that comes your way um, and then ultimately to come out on top. Yeah, I train a lot. Uh, I I love karate. So it's all that I do with my free time. Um, so just putting in a lot of work. I have great training partners around me. Um, my boyfriend, Jalen, is always pushing me and helping me train. Uh, my coaches, uh, Chris Walker, is always point into me helping me out i'm learning so much and then um i've just got really great people marcel is helping me uh kitana everett is a great training partner for me i've got great people around and i really owe a lot of a lot of my success or training to to them and their support so it's been awesome how did you get into martial arts i started karate when i was really young well not really young i guess like eight because okay. um, my neighbor did it <laughs> and I wanted to do it too. Um, and then I started at a school with Cal Choka is my instructor from white to black. Oh. So that definitely got me a, a glimpse into the competition world and what that was like. And then um, I got my black belt around 12 and I quit karate for nine years. I did wow. not step on the mat. Yeah. I mean, I just, you know, thought it was something I did as a kid Mm -hmm. And then uh, COVID hit in 2020, okay. and nothing else to do. And everybody was picking up hobbies. And right. I wanted to pick up making a hobby. Sa so making sourdough wasn't what you decided to do? Say it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. Oh, oh but, I was um, going to say making sourdough wasn't what you decided to do. I felt like in oh, 2020, everybody close. was like making bread or, or picking up running or crocheting or something. So you did. Yeah, you got back things. into martial arts. Yes, that's what I decided to do. I just started taking classes like a teen and adult class. That's how I was introduced to my current instructor, Chris Walker. Um, just started taking teen and adult classes. And a couple months in, I was working at their dojo and taking classes, training for my uh, next degree. And then eventually I got a job offer uh, to work at the dojo with Josh Horwedge. And I've been working there for three years now. It's fantastic. And Again, just because of the people around, it's become, you know, my entire life. I did not think my COVID hobby would become my career and, you know, all my inner circle be related to that. But I'm very, very grateful for it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, talk about, you know, something good coming out of the pandemic and being able to, 
um, kind of have a life shift and do what you love. Um, yes. You stopped yes. for nine years. Were you just like in school and doing another job for that time or doing another job? Yeah, when I was younger, I really loved um, like musical theater and things like that. And when I got to high school, if you wanted to do that, it was just very time consuming. And mm. I had recently uh, or when I went to middle school, I I had gotten my black belt and I just decided I wanted to pursue other things. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I went to college and got a job and until COVID hit. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Very cool. And then, so you had your competition team at this event. Something that Marcel um, was really excited about was the set fights as well as just the night show. Can you tell me how that went? Uh, the night show is a blast. <laughs> I love the night show. Um, it was awesome last year too. I think it's just so fun to have at a local event. Um, I mean, I, it's the only, it's the only event again, that some of my kids will be able to go to and see something like that. The set fights are awesome. Uh, they have a great mix of, you know, some of the younger kids mixing them some juniors and then obviously the eight man uh, team challenge or our grand mm -hmm. champion challenge was was really fun, but it's always just great energy. They've got the music playing in the background and everybody's kind of ringside um, cheering and, you know, losing their minds. So it's, it's a blast. I love the night show. I think it's awesome. Great. And how long was it? Oh, that's a great question. Unfortunately, I have no concept of time. I'm <laughs> going to say, well, you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. You, I mean, it wasn't yeah. like you were clock watching, like, oh my God, we're on hour two, hour three or whatever. Exactly. I mean, it definitely wasn't, I would say maybe it ran about an hour. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully I mean, that's it. fun. An hour full of action packed, just mm -hmm. fighting. And that's the people that were drawn to this. Now, do you also do forums and weapons? I do. Yeah. I took, um, I actually used to hate fighting so much. <laughs> I kind of figured if your original coach was Kalman, I mean, he was such a big forums name with the swords and all of that. And his sister, of course. So like, I kind of thought that you would be forums and here you are winning overall fighting. Yeah, it's a shift. Um, I started out definitely forms and weapons only when I came, you know, and started back up again. That's what I was really interested in. Um, Chris Walker being my new instructor, he does both, you know, so mm -hmm. he's huge on, on fighting as well. Didn't matter. I still hated it. Um, <laughs> and then when I moved to the dojo with Josh, um, everybody there, that's, that's what they do. There's not mm -hmm. a crazy amount of forms and weapons, um, with those instructors, everybody does fighting. Mm -hmm. And so my best friend Neha forced me to do, um, their Wednesday rounds where they all train together. I was terrified. Um, but from then I decided that I actually wanted to be good at it. Yeah. And so I just kept training for it and eventually kind of fell in love with the concept. And now I've shifted a little bit. I still do forms and weapons, um, of course, but I've shifted to, to really focus on my fighting to, to try to be my best in that aspect as well. I feel like going from that shift, um, the progress that one could make is so apparent because you're sort of at a level where you need to make a lot of improvements, yes. <laughs> but that's like the exciting part of it. It's like, wow, I, I'm not the best at this, but you see the people around you. And I know the people that you're fighting with are so good. You're like, I could be like that, you know? Yeah, it's, I mean, it, it definitely was a struggle. It still is a struggle to try to you know, develop the skill set that I see people around me have. I've been point fighting for maybe like two or three, three years now. Mm -hmm. um, so especially jumping into the women's division on like the NASCA circuit and fighting women who have been doing this their whole lives mm -hmm. um, is, is a challenge. Mm -hmm. But again, I, I love training and so I do what I can and I do my best and it's it's good to see kind of how I measure up every event. Awesome. Now, when it comes to the uh, the best of the best sparring championships, what um, what's your just favorite part of the event? I mean, I I do really like the night show. Honestly, okay. I think it just stands out and it's the, the day at any tournament as a coach is so crazy running around and trying to be ringside for all my students. Mm -hmm. And then midway through, you've got the, the adrenaline of getting ready to fight and compete. 
yeah. at the night show, it's like everything's died down and I just get to sit back and watch. And again, it's just such great energy and so unique that other local tournaments don't offer in this area. So that's definitely my favorite part. Great. All right. And that's something I think that he will keep highlighting, keep doing for as long as this event goes on. It's so I fun. Hope so. Cool. Well, is there anything else? I mean, it's not it's it's not like you don't have any contact with the promoter. So um, I'm not <laughs> going to say if you had any messages to share with him, but um, that's that's great. Um, really excited for you, for your win, for all of your students that you brought. Um, and um, what's your next tournament? Um, We're wrapping up the season. So I don't know if is it going to be next year or is it after, before the holidays? I think my first or my next tournament will probably be at um, Tony Young's year in nationals. Cool. I think that's next week. Yeah, it's um, part of the circuit, right? There, This mm -hmm. was part of the same circuit. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, that's okay. the ASKL circuit down in the southeast. Um, and then we'll pick back up next year for um, Warrior Cup and the North Georgia Open in February. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got some things on the calendar, so I'm excited to see to see how you do um, for the rep for those upcoming ones. Congratulations, Shay. Thanks for coming on the Power Chat series. Thank you. I appreciate it.